Welcome to the final episode of the Double X Rated Games Road to Glasgow. Robbo, how many days left to Glasgow? Mossy, you can count them on one finger. Absolutely pumped. There's only one day to go. I don't reckon I'll sleep at all tonight. Uh, tomorrow, it's the start of the Double X Games and cannot wait. It's been a huge road to Glasgow for us. I'll tell you what, for the people behind us, it's been a massive queue. I think this is a longer road. No, just looking at it <laughs> it's here. A, it's a huge one, <laughs> exactly. Mate, um, what's been happening this week? Well, all the news is about the flag bearer and just last night here in, uh, in Glasgow, it was announced uh, who the flag bearer would be for the 20th games and uh, the names that were up there, Sally Pearson, uh, we thought she might get it, uh, Alicia Coots, and Anna Mears. and it was Anna Mears that got it in the end, the cycling legend, and uh, so proud for her. But Mossy, there's a tinge of disappointment there. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I thought that we were absolute shoe-ins to carry that flag in. Uh, we've obviously put our name up for the closing ceremony, but we want to put the challenge out there to Monas to give us at least five reasons why we didn't get the flag to bear. Yeah, look, we'll be having a long, hard chat with him, but, mate, if it doesn't work out, uh, we've got four years to go and we'll have another crack there. Look, we even put in an application to the Scottish Commonwealth Games team, uh, and we got overlooked there as well. Uh, Judoka Ewan Burton was appointed. Oh, uh, Burdo. By, by, how, how good's that? Well, it's by Sir Chris Hoy, and I look, uh, congratulations to him. I uh, know it's a huge thrill, but uh, look, 0 from 2, a bit rejected today, but uh, we'll, we'll pick you up from here. Now, you're a man of the, uh, of the flag. I just want to know who's going to be uh, bearing the flag for Jamaica? Ah, uh, well, that's a, a contentious issue. It'll be someone with a hyphen. That's all I know at this point. We got anything else there in the barrel of news, Robbo? Well, Mossy, the other other news is that all the Aussies are getting their photos with Clyde, and as you can see here, uh, this is at the Australian team reception last night. Everyone wanted to get their photo with the, the floral version of Clyde, and we spoke about him, uh, twenty-two thousand pounds worth, and they're they're getting their money's worth. The, uh, the the Glaswegians, I tell you. I thought that was a reception for us, Robbo. Obviously, they gave us a bum steer because they took us down to George Square in, in Glasgow. <laughs> yeah, look. Uh, it was, a, it was a great party and great to see all the athletes. I think you know, the athletics team finally entered the village there. The team's now complete. They're all getting uh, their, their uniforms on and they're just buzzing around. It's great to be part of it. Absolutely. Now, we know that Australia, we hold the ashes. We've got a fair bit over the palms in more recent times. They're going to look to uh, take us down here at the Com Games. Now, we went into uh, the pre-camp down in Newcastle. The actual was in Gateshead. Mm. We went along to a party, Robber, and we went to uh, play a bit of a game. Yeah, look, they call it. It was a bit of an ice breaker I guess and uh, we were lined up and look we won't spoil it for you folks let's see what happened yeah. you, you, you can stop that as well you need to get lower because you're going to be blowing across each other oh, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. and the winner will be the one who get who blows this stick to the other side so it's like football but, but with straws. That's it. Come on! Where's the card? Where's the card? Where's the Aussie? So on the count of three. On the count. Oh, he's gone with the angled straw. He's got the early advantage. On the count of three, I will drop the matchstick in, and it's the first to get it across. One, two, <laughs> now, of course, it is Tuesday. It's the final edition of the Road to Glasgow. Robbo, it's Tartan Tuesday, my friend. Have you got something Tartan for us? I see. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going to now, if you just uh, hold Clyde for me there. I'm now just going to reveal the Tartan Couch T-shirt, and there it is. So the, uh, it's been exciting to build up the Tartan Couch tension. And uh, what I want to do is we want to call on all of Australia to join in. If you're watching in the wee hours at night, we want you to set up your own Tartan Couch. So find something Tartan, you know, a bit of a uh, bit of towel, a bit of rug, or a picnic blanket, even the thermos. Uh, they sometimes come in the Tartan design. Get it put it on your couch, set up your own Tartan Couch, and then just make sure you wake up, set the alarm, and then come down and cheer the Aussies on to Glasgow Gold. Hi, I'm Steve Solomon. I'm Britt McGowan. I'm Liz Duncan. I'm Marty Dent. I'm Mel Penny O'Toole. I'm Jess Trengove and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. Well, that's finally it, Robbo, for the road to Glasgow. It's the double X edition of the Double X Games. Now, we're going to continue on. We didn't come over here for a holiday. We know that you helped get us here. So if you want to shift over now to glasgowgold.tv, we're going to do a daily wrap which will give you colour on the streets, a wrap overnight and tell you a bit about what's coming up next. We're going to make a light-hearted look at the Double X Games, Robbo. 
Yeah, look, it's going to be great. You will not want to miss this, folks. So tune in every day. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You'll find us everywhere there. Join in on the colour on what's set to be the greatest games ever. And here's your challenge. You've got to go and tell not one, but two people about Glasgow Gold. And don't forget, as always, run, jump and chuck.